Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about the implementation of clean architecture. In the last video, we discussed theoretically how a clean architecture is designed and what are the different layers of the clean architecture. And today we will use a web framework and using that framework, we will create the structure of the clean architecture and then we will move on. So let's start. So here is the uh, VS Code editor and uh, I have created a blank structure and there are only two files. I'm using the eco framework uh, for the application. Uh, you can use any framework you like, uh, but I feel uh, eco framework is more friendly and easy to use. So uh, you can use that. So what I did here is the eco framework uh, website and uh, I created the application using these three simple commands. I created a new app, I created a directory, and then I executed the mod init command, and then I did the go get. You can follow this these instructions and uh, you will get the initial uh, structure. So here, uh, let's first create the main class and uh, let's try to execute the eco framework. So now I will create an file and I call it main.go. So here is my file. So now let's write some code uh, for the eco framework and let's test the server. So I can write like package main and uh, within package I'll create one function and I call it main. And within this main function I could create an object of eco. I'll say eco dot new and uh, let's just start the server and do nothing more e dot logger I can say okay so I have to import the statement so I'll say import And let me copy paste the URL. And uh, now it should show me the IntelliSense. Yeah, e.logger and dot info dot info, and I'll say echo dot start f t a r t start. And now I have to give the port number, so I'll say 8090. That's the port number, and I'll to give double quotation because that's a string parameter. And then I'll save it. So it's very, very simple code, just a two line, one import and two line. What it's doing actually is we are creating uh, an object of eco uh, framework. And then we are starting our server at 8090. So uh, let's let's run this in a new terminal and say go build. Okay. And um, as you can see, we have a file with the name of clean app. And let's run this file. Clean app. Okay. So as you can see, our server has, has started at the port number. 1890 and it's working so it's ready to uh, accept a request and um, so it's working now the next step is to create a structure for the clean architecture so we will design our application our web application using the clean architecture rule so what application we can design let's start a simple application that will be a bookstore a bookstore application will have for example get book we can get the book um we can add book and um, let's start with these two functions first so i'll create a folder at this root level i'll say book store bookstore now within the bookstore we know that we have to create three layers in clean architecture we create three layers so 
we will create three folders first will be the controller we will say controller and in the controller folder we will create a file which we will call book controller dot go and uh, then we'll create another folder and we will na name that folder as service and uh, within service we'll create a file called book service dot go and uh, the third will be the data layer so we'll create another another this is not the folder this one is the folder and that we call data so it's a data layer and uh, within data we'll call book underscore data dot go okay now we have these three layers and we also know that we want to have an uh, interface and also the domain object right the actual object which will which will travel between different layers so for that i'll create a folder and uh, it should be here in the main part okay interface i put the interface folder outside because we may need this for a different layers maybe for a different purpose so we can have a different kind of interfaces so let's say book underscore interface dot go and for the domain object i can create the domain object inside or i can create the domain object outside so okay so let's me let me create the domain object inside and i'll say model and within model i will create the book underscore model dot go okay so this is my uh, initial structure so i have controller i have service layer i have model and i have data layer so now we have this structure defined so in the next video we'll start coding and uh, then we'll move further thank you